Hey everyone, and welcome to my monthly Amazon haul where I share with you pretty much all the things that I've ordered since the last Amazon haul. And today is my last day of my first try of Invisalign, so I think the lisp is getting better. You let me know but be nice. Before we jump into the fun part, the show and tell, I do want to remind you that everything that I talk about here in the video and everything that I am wearing from here up that you can see is listed down in the description box. The actual items that we're talking about today, like this top, are numbered. There's a number up there and then there's a corresponding number down in the description box. And I take all that and pin it to the top of the comments to make it easy for you to find. Also, just a little hidden little secret gem. If you follow me on the LTK app, I post everything I'm sharing on the app before I upload the YouTube video. If you wanna get ahead of the game and see what I'm going to be sharing. So with all that said, let's get into the show and tell. Let's start off with tops and we're gonna start with this cap sleeve little colored sweater. It's a very subtle color. This is so soft. This is the most lightweight sweater. Obviously it's meant for spring, summer. It's essentially sleeveless. They're calling this a cap sleeve. I love everything about this. I think this is so much fun. I have to say it is bra friendly, even with the super deep armholes here. I think this is great on its own if you are self-conscious about the deep armholes. And I'm wearing the same bra I wear all the time. I will actually link the bras that I wear, pretty much the only two bras I wear and the only two pairs of underwear. Styles, I should say, I rotate. I'm not wearing the same two pairs of underwear every other day. I'll link all that below this outfit specifically if you're curious. My bra isn't showing in this, but I think this look cute layered over just a basic white tank top, a white tee. There's a lot you can do with this. I think this looks great against white jeans. And if you're curious about the rest of the outfit that I am sharing with each piece as I go through, if you go down to the description box or the comment section or the LTK app, the full outfit details are linked under each piece. So have a peek over there if you are curious. I don't often do this. I don't like sharing stuff that I haven't actually gotten my hands on, but there are a couple of pieces that I wanted to share with you because not everything is Amazon Prime these days. And even things that are marked Amazon Prime take a week, sometimes two or longer to arrive. Although I have found from personal experience that if they say something takes two or three weeks, it generally comes much sooner than that. But if you are curious, this oversized striped blouse I think is going to be a perfect late spring, early summer staple. Whether I wear it on its own tucked into a pair of say white jeans or over white jeans, I don't even think you want, need to tuck this in. It could double as a swimsuit cover up. It would look great with cutoff denim shorts. It's just a really versatile piece. This whole preppy coastal look is not going away. And so it's in my, it's not in my cart. It was actually ordered and it is on its way. Now I have a few cardigans to share with you and I want to explain what the thinking was behind this. And I have a few more to share with you next week. I have another Walmart haul, so you'll see a few more cardigans there. And I'm sure you're thinking, why are you buying cardigans? We are moving into 90 degree weather. That is true. And when you go outside, it is hot. But then you go into a grocery store, an office building, maybe you're on vacation, you're going into an airport terminal, an airplane, a hotel. Those are way over air conditioned. So it's like going from the desert Sahara or Amazon jungles into a meat locker. So it's nice to have a lighter weight cardigan that I can throw over my shoulders, actually put on if I'm super cold, or if I just wanna drape it over my neck and just add it as an accessory over something. I think having some lighter weight cardigans this time of year is actually not a bad idea. So I ordered a few. The first one is the one I'm absolutely the most excited about. It is the softest material. It's not exactly knit. It's almost like if the Spanx Air Essentials married a knit top and they have this baby. I want to live in this. I wish it came in solids. All it comes in are different variations of stripes. So if this stripe combination is not for you, there are about a half a dozen other options. The buttons are a nice gold finish. I would say they're metal-like. They are not heavy, which I prefer. If you have some really solid gold metal buttons, they tend to pull down and drag the material down. This works well draped over the shoulders. It works well with your arms in the sleeves. It works well tied around your neck as an accessory. The pockets are just decorative, they are not real. 
This could even work fully buttoned and worn as a top. You could blouse it under. This is my favorite piece of the haul. It is the most heavenly fabric you will ever touch. Next is this textured cream cardigan. This is definitely a knit material and I'm purposely wearing a shirt that doesn't really go, but it contrasts nicely so you can see it a little bit better. Light beige creamy fabrics are really hard to get on film. It has more of that like sort of traditional bone button to it. And again, it fully buttons or unbuttons. It's, it's fully functional. I'd say it's a little more of an oversized fit. It's a longer cardigan. Again, works well as worn as an actual cardigan with your arms in the sleeves, but also draped over the shoulders and I know I have made fun of influencers for years for doing the drape over the shoulders thing but I figured out a good reason to do that not for photographs but sometimes putting it fully on with your arms in the sleeves is a little too hot but if you just drape it over your shoulders it's enough extra coverage without getting hot and steamy the last cardigan that I have to show you before we move on to two-piece sets is this very much inspired by Spanx cocoon cardigan Spanx actually used to make through their air essentials line a longer oversized cocoon cardigan I live in it I actually packed it along with me to a long weekend trip I just came back from up in Dallas shared a little bit on stories on Instagram if you're following along over there it's just a great option to cuddle in I use it almost like a bed jacket and they stopped making it I love how it feels and then I found this look-alike except that it is a much more cropped fit I think it is a more flattering fit I'm not swimming in fabric it's less of a bed jacket and more of a functional cardigan. It comes in the beige that you're seeing and a black and a sky blue as well. This is a great extra layer for spring summer. It doesn't actually have pockets, but other than that, I think it is perfect. The sun has come out. Clearly mother nature is just as excited about these two piece sets as I am. So first, this one is new, but not really. I think this is now the fourth or fifth iteration of the same set. I bought it in multiple colors, three colors, in the solid version. And then they released some new colors, including the striped top. And I love a monotone look, but I like it broken up a little bit. So I love this beige waffle knit set with the black stripes, the Henley top, the buttons are functional, it unbuttons and buttons. This is what I actually wore in the car on the way up to said long weekend up in Frisco. And I say Frisco and not Dallas because Frisco is like almost another hour north of Dallas. Super comfortable for the long road trip. Didn't wrinkle. Full disclosure, I wore it up there. Wore it out to dinner with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law that we hung out with over the weekend. That was glorious. Wore it to dinner and folded it up, threw it in the suitcase, came home several days later and pulled it out to wear for the try-on. So it holds up really well. And clearly I love it enough that I have bought it four times. So this next set, speaking of road trips and hanging out at a resort, I wish this had arrived before I left on my trip because I absolutely would have packed this, worn this maybe in the car, definitely at the resort. This material feels like heaven. I've talked about the Spanx Air Essentials line multiple times in this video, but for years now, it is really expensive. And if you can splurge, I would actually say it's worth it because the material is like nothing I've ever felt. It's loungewear, but it's made to be worn out and about. Like it's not sleepwear, it's actually meant to be worn out. It feels this, like air and silky and soft and cool to the touch, but it keeps you warm if it's cold out. But if you wear it and it's like 75, 80 degrees, you're also not gonna get overheated. It's magic. We've been looking for lookalikes forever that's more affordable. So many things have fallen short. This set is the closest that I have found. I'm wearing it in the shade Apricot. The top is actually kind of a hybrid between two things from the Spanx line. The material feels very much like the Air Essentials line, but the seaming and the zipper up the back of the top is identical to a pullover from their Perfect line. This is the Perfect Pullover top. It has a little zipper up the back so you can pull it over your head without getting it dirty with your makeup. And I have to say, you do not need to be a contortionist to get to that zipper. It's perfect. The pants are pretty straightforward. They're pull-on elastic waist, drawstring at the waist. They do have pockets. It's not a cropped style, but I am five foot four. I prefer a 28, I'd say, inch inseam. And I can wear these with flats. I can also wear them with a bit of a heel. So if you're about my height and you're worried about it dragging on the ground, you do not have to worry with these. And two things that make this outfit technically better than the Spanx version, one, the price, obviously, and two, the pants have pockets. 
And the Spanx ones, pretty much except with the exception of one item in the Air Essentials line, do not have pockets. Now we're gonna move on to dresses and one jumpsuit. So let's start with the jumpsuit. I have some pictures we're gonna cycle through here because this one is actually in the laundry. And I did wear this on the road trip home, which was closer to five hours. And I know some of you are very adamant that you would not wear a jumpsuit to travel in because of the going to the bathroom thing. It doesn't bother me. And especially if it's a long road trip, I'd rather be comfortable for the vast majority of it than stress over the 30 seconds you're going potty. I will also say just because of the fabric and the way that it's laid out, none of it touched the ground when I did stop to go to the bathroom. We're going on this Air Essentials lookalike train a little bit longer because this is very much inspired by the same Spanx jumpsuit that I have in two colors, beige, and black. And I love this one because I'm a short girl and I didn't have to order the petite. So if you are a tall friend of mine, I'm sorry, these might come off cropped on you. You might want to look at the real version. Spanx does have a petite and a tall version. Oh, it is so soft. It feels just like the Spanx fabric. It has the pockets. Instead of a zipper up the back, it has a little button with an elastic loop that if you pull on it a little bit right out of the package, you'll be able to just do it yourself. You don't need someone to button you up. It has a nice drawstring at the waist. It was so comfortable. To, in fact, I wore it all day Sunday, changed out of it to go to a birthday party, changed back into it to drive home, layered a jacket over it for warmth. My best friend actually ordered this. She is taking this with her on her trip to Europe. She's doing carry on only. And she wanted something that she could throw on pretty much every night for dinner. She could throw a blazer over it or tie a scarf around it, dress it up a little bit. This easily can be dressed up. Like I said, if you throw a blazer, change your shoes up. And then during the day, you could wear it to sightsee, wear it with sneakers or moccasins. It's just a really versatile piece. And I love that I found something so close and so much more budget friendly. Now on to the dresses. So these next two dresses, I didn't realize it until I actually put them on to try them on for this video that I ordered the same dress twice. <laughs> so let's start with the printed version. So this is a beautiful abstract floral collar dress, a little bit of a shirt dress, not full buttons. The buttons stop kind of just below the bust. The fabric feels like a silk satin combination. It is so luscious and beautiful and soft, like flowy. Think you're standing outside at an outdoor event and the wind is blowing. It's very pretty. I will say I personally could have used this in a size smaller. I am wearing this in a size small, and I would say that it fits like a true size four, maybe a four six, and I could have used like a two four, but it's not a deal breaker because this could easily be belted. I think the belt works better with the printed version, which is what you are seeing right now. It has pockets that are still accessible if you belt it, and I have like I mentioned under each number here, I will also list the full outfit details with a link to all of like the belt, the shoes, any bags, all that kind of stuff. It is fully lined. And I think speaking of outdoor events, if you have an outdoor graduation ceremony coming up, perhaps next month, this dress would be beautiful for that. Wedding showers, Mother's Day brunches, that kind of thing. So onto the same dress in a solid. So this shade is called solid purple. So you can see how much a difference a print makes. I don't think a belt would work quite as easily with this, just so you can see it. Both options, floral print, solid print. And there are multiple versions of the floral print and the solid color comes in multiple solid colors as well. And here you're getting a good look at what it looks like unbelted. I don't hate it unbelted. I do think because it is just one size too big for me, it's a little too much material. But I think if you could get it in a size that fits you correctly, you definitely do not need to belt this. And I should explain why you're seeing so many pink and or floral dresses. I was able to combine a trip hanging out at the PGA Golf Resort with my husband and his brother and my sister-in-law with a good friend of mine's daughter's first birthday party and it was a floral garden theme. So I kind of wanted to dress for the occasion. So I was looking for some dresses that would go for it. So yes, I did go a little bit crazy with the pink and the floral. So this one, I love this abstract floral print and I love pink and orange together. If you don't, it's Amazon. There are multiple other options. So this dress is a little dressier. The fabric feels a little more like a rayon material. The cuffs of the sleeves have a little slight elastic to give it a gentle structured puff, but not anything too crazy. I love the neckline. So the front is a nice gentle scoop and the back is a true square neck that has a matching elastic going across the back. So it's a little wider set and that way it stops the sleeves from shifting and your bra stays covered. 
It does not have pockets. It's a nice, subtle, tiered shape. Very smoothing material. I love how it swishes around. It is not lined. I can't remember if I told you it doesn't have pockets, but I think it is gorgeous and all the details are linked below. And here is what I ended up wearing to the birthday party. A more of a long sleeve eyelet dress. It's on the shorter side. Definitely a subtle high-low hem. I did try belting this for a little more shape, but it got a little too short with that. So don't recommend that. It doesn't have pockets. Because it's eyelet, even though it's long sleeved, it's very airy on the sleeve. So I have nice arm coverage, but I wasn't hot. I wore this to the birthday party outside. It was about 86, 87 degrees in the sun. Did not get overheated. The body itself is fully lined and I like the subtle V-neck and it does have buttons that go to about your true waist. I think it's a really nice feminine shape without being overly fitted or overly loose. It's more of a nice kind of swing, almost like an A-line shape to it. There is one dress I ordered that is not here yet. It's the only other thing I'm gonna share that I don't actually own. It is another eyelet dress, but it's a little bit shorter and the sleeves are shorter and the color green is beautiful. It has a nice little smocked waist, not like one of those big wide waistbands, but a much more narrow one. It is V-neck, it is fully lined. It is on its way here. I can't tell you for sure if it's gonna be amazing, but fingers crossed, it's from a brand I've ordered from before, so I have high hopes. I have one random clothing item to share with you. It is a swimsuit cover-up. It is a sweater knit material. I know that sounds insane, but it's basically just a bunch of holes. So it gives you some coverage, especially if you're feeling self-conscious. I actually wore this over the weekend and then forgot to get pictures. I wore this hanging out at the adults only pool, which was really fun. Long sleeve, so it gives you some coverage, looser fitting. It does come in sizes. It's not a one size fits all, and it does come in multiple colors as well. It's super soft. It was really cozy, and I'm really glad that I picked it up for this summer swimming season. Before we move out of clothing, I do want to share some faves from last year. These were actually best sellers in April of 2023 that I'm still wearing and loving in April of 2024. These H-band slides, I've shared these multiple times. This is the Raffia, comes in at least a dozen other faux leather and suede options, and it does have memory foam, runs true to size. And then these faux suede strappy espadrille wedges, they're really, really comfortable. They run true to size, and there are lots of other options if you don't like this exact material or shade. They have it in the faux leather and lots of different colors as well. I have one beauty item to share. This was recommended to me by Kelly from Mommy's Makeup and Moscato. It's the Vita Liberata Body Blur. I had meant to pick up the Fenty Beauty body sauce or something that's I think similar to this during the Sephora sale. I was out of town and I completely forgot. So I'm glad I put this order in with Amazon. The any tan you are seeing today on my arms, legs, or even up here is courtesy of this little guy. I do recommend applying it with like a body makeup brush to really kind of brush it in. I rubbed it in in circular motions. As you saw in the try on, I was wearing white jeans. I was taking things on and off. As long as you put it on, I let it sit for about 15 minutes before I got dressed. It's not, it's not coming off. I'm very excited about it. I got it in the shade light. Just a few home items to share with you. First, this fast drying stone tray has, it's probably hard to see here, a little ridge kind of cut into it. I have this next to my kitchen sink. It's where I put my dish soap, my hand soap, my hand lotion. All that gets wet when you wash the dishes as you expect things to do. This absorbs all the water. So it gets a little bit of elevation. It looks nice next to the sink, but unlike all the other trays that we have there to look pretty, it doesn't collect water and get moldy and disgusting and get water all over your counter. This is brilliant. It also has little rubber feet here, so it's not gonna slide around. It's a little thing, but I'm very excited about it. I also got a new down comforter to put in my linen duvet or any duvet, honestly. And it is a lightweight, all seasons feather down comforter. I ordered one size up, so I got the oversized king, so it'd be extra fluffy. There's one size even bigger than that that I probably could have done. Michael, my husband, who usually likes to fling all the covers off because he gets too hot, has been keeping this on him all night. So if you love the idea of being under something big and soft and fluffy, but you're also a hot sleeper, so you're in this catch-22 situation, this is the down blanket for you. This is outstanding. I am so glad that I found this. Cannot recommend it enough. Best find, I think, from Amazon in 2024 so far. And the last item is very specific, but it might help one of you. It has definitely helped me. As I mentioned, I started Invisalign trays two weeks ago. 
they're fine so far, but we'll see how it goes. Cleaning them, it's not exactly a pain, but something you think about, like you get dry mouth, they kind of get stinky, they need to be cleaned constantly. A few of you recommended I get one of these. I did, it is a game changer and it is an ultrasonic dental device cleaner. You pop this thing open, you put the water in, I throw in an effordent, like the denture tablet thing. I pop in my trays, close this, you can either clean it with one touch with the UV light with one button or push, or you can push it twice and it does like a 10 minute cycle. So you have your option of five minutes or 10 minutes. I usually do this while I'm eating my dinner and then I brush my teeth, pop these things out, rinse them off and they're good to go. Not only does it get them super clean, it also helps get the odor out of them because they start to accumulate the same odor that's happening in your mouth. It's not good. So thank you to so many of you who recommended this. This has been a game changer. Well. We have been sitting here long enough, so that's all I'm gonna share with you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you had some fun. Maybe you found some interesting things. Let me know in the comments below, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.